This is the 15th video on the Wargaming of the Battle of Friedland. It is June 14th, 1807, 8.50 a.m., turn 18 out of 72 turns. I am playing the Russians and the game's artificial intelligence is playing the French. It is the Allied Movement phase, and let me change a couple settings here. We'll turn off objectives, we'll turn on map elevations. Now, I think Oh, I haven't moved everything. Maybe I haven't moved every anything. Well, let me check it out. Hmm, I didn't move him. <clears throat> Well, look at that. <clears throat> All disordered cavalry. Okay. Guess we know where they are. These guys look good. Oh, he hasn't moved. Now, the uh, strategy here is, according to the, the, according to history, let's say, um, the Russians saw an opportunity of a quick victory because Marshal Lannes' Fifth Corps was outside of supporting distance of the rest of Napoleon, Napoleon's army. There was a big battle fought at Eilau, and it was fought to a draw, but the Russians decided they had enough of that and started to retreat, and they were retreating towards Konigsberg. But... Uh, they saw this opportunity at Friedland and thought they would go out there, destroy Land's Corps on their way to Friedland's. Now, on their way to Konigsberg. So they thought it would be an easy victory. Well, in this game, the remnants of Land's Corps... Okay, is surrounded in the woods here and is being pummeled to death. And with the disappearance of these units, that's the end of Lands Corps, eliminated just like Custer at the Little Bighorn. So, um, the objective of the Russians 
has been totally achieved. Now what they've done is they have blocked the French from coming up through this pass and cutting them off in Friedland. They've also blocked the French from coming through these woods and blocking their escape from Friedland. And they have also occupied this village and all the surrounding area plus this high ground to prevent the French from cutting them off, cutting them off from Freeland. So in other words, it's virtually impossible for the French to cut any portion of the Russian army off from retreating back through Friedland, crossing the Al, and continuing their retreat to Konigsberg. Now, instead of just blocking those areas, the Russians have pushed out in these woods. They originally pushed out with their cavalry, but the French started deploying artillery here, and the French hold all the high ground. So the Russians are now at the point of exchanging um, foot batteries with the horse batteries and infantry with the cavalry. And they're intent on holding these two passes through the woods. This one leading east and north, this one leading east. And they'll hold that with artillery and infantry for as long as possible. And their cavalry, the uh, Russian cavalry, is going to be regrouping on this plane. So this is, this cavalry will all be withdrawn pretty much from this front back here. Now, if the French fight, they're at a severe disadvantage. If they choose not to fight, the Russians merely execute a phased retreat. So whatever happens, the Russians have won their strategic um, their strategic plan, which was to pick off the French Fifth Corps. So anyway, we'll see. If the French aren't inclined to attack and they just sit there, then basically the game is pretty much going to be over and the Russians are just going to retreat. So with that being said, let us get back to business here. Now, this mounted guy, he's seven men. Imagine that, you have seven men for a regiment. He's gonna have to recover on his own. Everybody else is left and I don't believe what color is he? He's this guy's color. Is he the same brigade? Eighth Division. Oh, we've got a bunch of guys here. Eighth Division. Yeah, I'm not going to come back for him. Eight men. If it was more, I would. But if we let him recover on his own. Uh, okay, this cavalry has moved. These guys have moved. These guys have moved. Oop. Not so fast. These guys haven't. Some of them haven't.
Well, this guy's disordered. Oh, that sucks. Let's get this. Uh, oh, he's the wrong color. Damn. Okay. Where's this guy's leader? I don't see him around here. It's like a pale uh, yellow. Well, I guess he's going to have to recover on his own. I don't see his leader around here. So we'll move this guy over here. This battery will unlimber. And he'll point upwards. column under him will point the same way. This guy will try to move up there. This guy can move one more here. battery can't okay not enough movement I guess I think that's pretty much all we can do there we've set up our artillery line here set up our position here okay let's see what's with these guys artillery's unlimbered artillery's unlimbered Limbered, but no movement. Okay, this guy's going into line. This guy's in line. Uh, he's disordered, so... Oh, this guy's moved. Okay, it looks like... This guy's moved. Looks like we're all done. So... Time to go on to the next phase, which is French defensive fire. Two men, six, and that's it. Okay, now we're going up here first and have some fun. Uh, so we're gonna have an artillery bombardment. So we've got two batteries here which can fire. Bang, 41 men. Got two batteries here. 33 men. We've got two batteries here. Oh. 23 men in that regiment disappears. That's going to be the fate of anyone who Hangs out here. We got one that can fire here. Six men and that regiment disappears. It's costly. Standing out in the open in front of artillery. That gets seven. Okay. This guy inflicts 14 on that cavalry hiding in the woods. 
Uh, what do we got out here? Got a battery that can't fire. And another one here because we're taking a new position. Yeah, we're down here in the woods. Okay. 22. These guys are going to get pounded. 20. Oh, uh, the battery's still limbered. This one isn't limbered, though. Go shoot the uh, battalion. Five. That was pretty crappy. Now we'll shoot the battery. Oh, okay, he cannot fire. Okay, Jesus. All right. This battery can't fire either. Must I guess I just move them. Oh, that's right. I uh, unlimbered them. So they're foot artillery. So you can either move or fire, not both. With horse artillery, I think if if you've moved like half your movement, you can fire. If it's over half, then I'm not sure whether you can. I'll have to pay attention to that to see which one's true. Okay, this battalion is going to fire into this routed guy. Eight men. Not very good, considering he's right next to him. Now let's try the battery. Oh, the battery can't fire. Okay. We'll try another line battalion. He's low on ammo. Christ. Well... I guess this guy should replace him then. Okay, this guy can fire. 22. Well, that's pretty good. Okay, next phase. Allies, melee. We don't have any. French movement. Let's see what the Frenchies do. Oh, look at this uh, disordered skirmish. Or I don't know whether he's just yeah, he's disordered skirmisher now is coming down here to intervene. Okay, that's fine. We'll just surround you and blow you away. Mister AI doesn't worry about flank protection. Oh, look, this battery came out. Wow, that's wonderful. Now it's going to be bombarded. It's hiding. He's using the cavalry here to temporarily hide, and then he's got cavalry underneath. So it's not going to be meleeed. That's not going to work. Oh, look at down here now he's going into the woods with more stuff woods is going to be crawling <laughs> with all of these and i don't care because sooner or later he comes out and he comes out in the face of artillery so it's okay with me I know the French are coming up with substantial forces. And look at how far away he's stacked up here with these units. And you do that if you're going to charge or defend against the charge. And he's like 15 hexes away. So it seems like he's a little far away to be executing that tactic. <laughs> God, he's disappeared in the woods. Amazing. What's he got up here? Oh, he's recovered one of his cavalry, so it can charge. I'll have to go into column then. Okay, let's go up here. He's got three disordered cavalry and the artillery. Okay. 
And this guy I uh, should be able to blow away. 33. Well, concentrate on the battery. Fatigue. Fatigue. I'm hoping for a gun hit. That would be nice. Fatigue. Fatigue. The one gun, there we go. What's he got left? He's got four left. Okay, we're just going to keep at him. Uh... Oh shit, this guy's pointed down so he can't shoot at him. I'll have to change that. Oop. All he can do is fire at that guy. Okay. All right, this guy can fire. Eight. Now down here. Artillery still can't fire this turn, but it will. We'll keep, keep pounding them, 13. 32, there we go. 35, Jesus. Wait till my artillery does fire. 15. Eight. Uh, this is a, oh, this guy's low on ammo, but he still can fire. So let's let him have it. 10, all right. Okay, and this guy, see the spoiler, he's always got to. I think I'll send one or two battalions over here to surround this guy. I do believe that is it. French offensive fire. That's it, French melee. 47-3, whoa. Yeah, see his, he's still got the ability to do that because he's still got two columns here. Yeah, he's disordered this guy. What he's trying to do is he's trying to disorder these guys one at a time, but he's not going to be able to do it fast enough. He disordered these two guys plus the artillery, and they'll fire at half value, but he needs to disorder them when they're still in column because then they, they have no fire value. But e even... In line, if they're disordered, they're, they still fire at half value. Yeah, so it's going to be a test of wills. Well, even if some more of my guys get disordered, I'll be reducing his numbers. He, he already took, what is it, like 67 to 3? That was his melee, and he did disorder the guys. But he took fearsome casualties. He probably can do that once more, maybe. And then he won't be able to do it. So we'll see. I'm going to beat that guy down. And if I get disordered, I'll be able to come out of it in time. Whereas he won't. He'll be eliminated. Okay, it's my movement. 
So that one gun that was pointed in the wrong direction, let's face, reface him. gun and point him sideways. We will point this column and put him underneath the battery. Jesus, I've got just about all the batteries I can have against him. Yeah. Okay, I see this guy went into the woods. All right, let's see what we've got here. First of all, this guy's going to sneak up behind him and go in the line. This guy's going to swing around. Okay, come on. He'll swing around. And he'll go into line. I'll start banging away at these guys. And this guy. This guy's disordered. I think I'll swing down here to make sure no one comes through there. And I'll push this guy in. This guy coming down. We're going to clear out these woods once and for all. Okay, now. Oh, shit. This is mounted. Okay, we'll get these two mounted guys out of here. Move up this column and we'll put them in square. We'll unlimber this gun. Put this guy underneath. We'll put him in square. This guy Hmm He's unlimbered. Well, I'm gonna put him up there. I don't think he's gonna be able to go in a square, no, but He'll protect that guy somewhat. I have another guy that'll take his place if he's disordered. Okay, we've got one more guy coming up here and then that'll be it. All right. 
right oh, down here. Push him up there, push him up there. And I'll reface him. This guy underneath. Okay, that's good. Face the right way. Put this guy underneath. can start with drawing this cavalry. We'll start with these guys. They'll no longer be needed here. Slowly get these out of here. Okay, I got all my scouts watching the roads. Okay, we got this guy coming down here. Now oh, that guy lost up here. Ah, there he is. See, he hasn't gone far. Disordered mounted guy, huh? Well, we'll go after you. And this artillery is still limbered. That's good. Hunt you down like the rat you are. Now this guy. Let's 
Okay, now the last thing to be done is gather our Calvary here. What? Oh, those aren't horse artillery batteries. That's why they're limbered. We'll put the horse artillery back here. Fit. Uh, one can fit. Get all the same colors together. Get everybody organized. Let's get all the leaders out here. We'll sort them out in a minute. Oh, I've got, got a black sheep in there. This guy. Uh, that looks lighter than this guy. Ah! guy's disordered. Well, okay. He's disordered. Well, shit. There we go. Well, who does he belong with? Seventh Division. I should be able to rescue him. Sixth Division, Jesus. Seventh Division. Okay, I got the wrong division out. So this guy can boogie on out. Nope, he can't. Well, we'll push him in there. There's, he's the seventh division. 
So I've got the guy's brigade plus the division commander. Hopefully he can rescue him. Oh, this guy's recovered now. He's 8th division. Well, that's the guy under there. Okay, next turn I'll move 8th division out. I don't... The reason I don't put them in the hex, there's an infantry division, or an infantry unit in that hex. And if you mix infantry and cavalry, they'll never recover. You've got to keep them separate. So I'll move the 8th division out. On top of him, then he should recover quicker, anyway. Okay, so... All these guys have moved. Now, I've got a bunch of leaders here. Are they all dark blue? Let's see. Yeah, they all are. Okay, so they both, they'll stay. They belong up there. Now this guy moved down here to provide supply for them. This guy will unnumber. Oop. Ah. My mouse fell off the pad, so it went nuts. And he'll point straight across. This guy moved. Now, for this... Let's go after this skirmisher. Since we've got time on our hands. And let's deploy this artillery. And we'll crank it up one. Okay, now I can't take care of these bums. We'll unlimber this artillery. Uh, these guys are disordered, but they can still shoot. Low on ammo. Okay, let's... Point this guy up. Back the skirmisher off. Put him there. Next turn, he'll go in the line. Move this skirmisher up. What's the matter with this guy? Oh, he looks like he's moved or something. To surround this skirmisher up here. Okay. I do believe that's it. Let's check the time here. Forty four minutes. Okay. That's it for this phase. Let's go to the next one. French defensive fire. One man. Two. Fatigue. That was his artillery. Okay, now you're going to feel our wrath. These two batteries are going to fire in the cavalry. 33. That guy doesn't want to die. Why not? Okay, we'll start firing at the artillery now. Fatigue. Fatigue.
fatigue. Fatigue. Fatigue. Jesus, when are we going to get a gun hit? Now this guy, oh, he can't fire. Okay. Fatigue. Oh, he can't fire. Well, okay. Fire this guy at the cavalry. Four. Now, this guy is going to fire at the cavalry. 19. Let's see how long you can stay there. This guy's going to fire at him. 13. And these guys aren't in line yet. This guy will probably scoot, but that's okay. We'll follow him. Uh, okay, we can fire here. Fire at the one guy that isn't disordered. We'll fire here. Cannot fire. Okay, well, then we won't. Let's see if this guy can fire. Oh, he can. Six. All right, and then our favorite spot down here. We gotta blow these guys away. Thirteen. Well, two of those guys are routed, so I'm not sure. Let's see which two. The column. Uh, the column and the skirmisher. So he's only got one column. That's the one I'll fire at. Gun st still can't fire. I don't know why. Why? Why? 32. Good. 35. Now oh, we're starting to click. Eight. Ah, a gun cannot fire. Twelve. I don't understand how this guy can recover from routed when these guys are shooting at him. Finally ran out of ammo there. Okay. I mean, would you recover from being routed if guys were all around you on three sides firing at you? Well, they aren't firing on three sides, but they're around him on three sides. I don't think you'd recover, but he did. Some of these algorithms seem really strange, but <clears throat> maybe they'll improve with time. <laughs> okay, I believe that's it. Melee. Don't think we got any. Frenchy movement. Now let's see if he charges. Usually if he has a unit he can charge with, or it. It'll charge. Let's see if that's true. He's got that one cavalry unit that recovered. Well, that one kid. Oh, Jesus, what's he doing? <laughs> oh, this guy's charging. Okay, one of these suckers recovered. But this guy, he's not charging, but he came up against that artillery, so he's 
I guess he sees the writing on the wall. Oh, the artillery's turned around. Now he's going to blast this guy. Yeah, so he's covering for the artillery so I don't shoot the shit out of him. So he's going to shoot at this guy in the woods that came up next to him. That's well, okay, because I'll drop this guy down and he'll melee with him. Once you get surrounded, like, like his artillery is surrounded up there, there's like no good out because there's somebody in every direction. You can only shoot one way. And his cavalry can't shoot at anybody. All they can do is charge. Now one of those guys recovered. That's, that's the trouble. You never can tell when those guys recover. And then they can charge and then they're deadly. But I'm in square, so we'll see what happens. Hmm. Okay, defensive fire. This ought to be interesting. Okay, comes right up against me, so I'll we'll have the square fire in them, three men. Oh shit, I'm in column. Didn't I go in a square? Oh, I'm in the column here, but I should have been in line. He's not charging me, so I'm probably good. Oh, I'm limbered, so that's that's why he went up there, I guess. I don't know. Is he thinking about mailing me? I got 425 men there, and he's across the stream with no charge bonus. Okay, that's fine. Let's see if I can polish off this guy. I'll fire both batteries at him. Well, wait. I don't want to do that. Let's see what effect this guy has on him. 67. Ooh. Oh, and I fired the square at him, another six, and I took him out. So... That regiment dissolved. That's what I was hoping would happen. Now I have these two guys up here who hadn't fired yet. Let me see if I can reach this battery. Yeah! Shit, just got fatigue on them. Well, that didn't do what I thought it would. Okay. Let's fire these two guys on this bat on the, these regiments. 32, and one of them disappeared. I'm liking it. No, he's not going to have any cover now. Oop, that guy was in the way. So we'll fire these two at this remaining regiment. 73, Jesus. And we've got a battery here. 15. Now this guy will fire there. Fatigue. Well, he's got four guns. I'm in the woods, so I may get may not be too bad. 14 at this cavalry. Well, that's all I can do there. And I got some shooting here. Oh, no, what did he do? He had one guy that was recovered. Here, this is infantry battalion and two mounted battalions. He sent the guy that was recovered into the woods, which means he automatically disordered, plus it looks like one other guy, one other cavalry. So they're going to stream up here and they're going to get the same result these guys are getting. Okay. So that's what you want. Meanwhile, these guys are going to fire. Ten. Now I don't have to worry about a charge. Well, I always have to. Twelve. I always have to worry about one because you never can tell when these guys will recover. Now, we've got to keep going after this guy.
34, that's pretty good. 19. 13. 5. Twenty six, fourteen, and I think that's it. So Fifty six. Okay, we're going to leave it at that. So I'm going to save it and we are going to continue tomorrow.